Um, I don't remember that being something I can go into, though. I don't, I don't see vampire sight anywhere around here. Oh, we can just reset our abilities? Spend zero XP to reset skills. That's pretty cool. Um, it's not an ultimate, is it? No. Maybe it's just something we unlock during the story. I, I was told that there's a lot of, like, normal skills that unlock throughout the entire story, so. Wait, people said under tactical? No, no, this is, this is just, yeah, this is not that. This is just a supernatural move uh, to your target and causes damage upon landing. And this is a uh, toggle. Drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Yeah. So, yeah. This might be interesting. I might, I might save up for this one. Yeah, that, that could be cool. Because I'm, it looks like I'm doing mostly melee. You can use guns and stuff, but I think it's so much cooler to use melee in a game like this. I don't really want to use guns. We already have this, and that's more than enough. Um, okay. Oh wait, do I have to actually confirm it to sleep? Well, is this guy back yet? Yo, that guy just dip set for the night. I have no idea where he went. Hopefully, he'll be here in the morning. All right, let's go. The following night. If How am I liking Unlife is Strange so far? Is I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about okay. my thirst for blood? Hmm. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration. Uh, it's not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little bit before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also gave orders to let you rest and then for the staff to never enter your room. Okay, there's an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. Man, this guy is super cool. I'm glad we found this guy. Um, I've studied enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we are all presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. P.S. I'd like to copy some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about Econ in the past few years. Feel free to read about... Oh, that's what we read earlier. Are you talking to me? What? What do you want? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. Yay! It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Okay, do we have anything new to say to you real quick? Yes, doctor. Exactly how bad is the supply situation here at Pembroke? It really depends. Dr. Swansea deftly works his society contacts for monies, but with the quarantine, well, we're in God's hands. Hmm. Please, could you point me in the direction? It's the large board. Great. Why then do you always work the nights? Don't you ever sleep? 
At the Pembroke, we're always hands on deck. Your dedication to the Pembroke does you credit, Nurse Crane, but when do you sleep? We staff get our sleep when we can, Doctor. Nursing is a vocation, not the labor of a journeyman. Damn. Lack of sleep and the medical profession hey, always bloody floor. ends in disaster. I've witnessed many a colleague succumb to stimulants to fight exhaustion. Drugs were as deadly as bullets in the trenches. London's wow. trenches start here at Pembroke Hospital. We are on the front line, make no mistake. That didn't really argue the point I was making. <laughs> okay. That's all for now, Nurse Crane. Thank you. Um. How am I liking Vampire so far? Vampire is is fun. I'm having a good time with it. Um, it's it's definitely a, a good one. It is it is a good one. It it it's a little slower paced than I was expecting. But that might be because of how I'm playing the game. Uh, there's a there's a very developed and in-depth talking, speech, and relationship mechanic with all these different people. And I could theoretically just ignore them and do whatever I want. But I also don't want to miss content, so I kind of feel like I need to do it. And in that regard, uh, there's a lot of dialogue and people to talk to. Um... So, it, I mean, but it's, it's been a lot of fun and I really have been enjoying the combat sections. They, they are better than I expected. They are better than I expected. Um, but yeah, overall I'm liking it. I think some people find it a little bit slow, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Am I gonna play PoE this afternoon? I am probably gonna play PoE this afternoon because I don't know when I have to leave. I may have to leave early this afternoon. I still have to find out. So, because I don't really wanna this this seems like a game that I'm gonna need stopping points with, um, so I'll probably do Poe this afternoon. But we are gonna do Vampire tomorrow morning. Uh, we we are gonna be back in this game. And we're gonna put another four hours in tomorrow morning for sure. Please, I feel sick. Get over here now. Is this Clay? Good evening, Mr. Cox. Ah. Agreed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more. Alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to. Oh, we gotta to go give the, the fatigue stuff. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? What a dick thing to say. Wow. I am not giving this to you. I will see you later. But I do want to talk to you. Do you ever think about that? Poor fellow, I saw you push in the water. The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. It still fucking hurts. Boss, it cut me good. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Wow. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give a fuck what you think of me. Wow. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. Oh my god! What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? This guy is so that killable! You sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. 
Jesus. You are so eatable right now. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. Mmm. The police may be slow, but they will find you eventually. Well, how come you didn't turn me in then? Nah, Doc. I figure you have something to hide so you can't ask the coppers for help. Hint failed? Interesting. I didn't even know that was an option. Hmm. Now I wonder if... Could we have done something differently to make this hint work? Or selecting this hint always ends in failure? Um. How long do you think you can escape oh no, the police? Well, hmm. I could have done it differently. How though? I could have treated him? Oh, I'm not going to reset it. No, of course not. No, 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 no. Of course not. Hmm. Okay. I'll leave you for now. Interesting. Oh, you can't reset it. It auto saves after you make a decision. Good on you, Debs. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. It's a small bottle. Oh, is my buddy back? Yo, I really hope this NPC didn't, like, disappear. I'm getting a little bit worried about this. I, I hope we didn't lose this NPC. Now, let's go help him with his fatigue and see if that does anything cool. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. How paint so pick. I'll let you get... Good evening, sir. Good evening, Doctor. Doctor. Hmm. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice. Oh! The state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Hmm. Uh, Don Ding Dong says, Hey Ko, I know you forget things very fast, but this is really important. Maybe you don't know, but there's this thing called Twitch Prime. You can subscribe for free every month. You just have to link your Amazon and Twitch accounts. Afterwards, you get a token. Uh, keep in mind, you have to check if your token is up and use it monthly. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Thanks, Don. Okay. Beep. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite... Rich. That's right, impossible! And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Hmm, she charged you? She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgent... HIPAA! Oh, that's a dick move, dude. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Ouch. What can you tell me about- Not much to say. Okay, that one's done too. Okay. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Now Good let's evening, see what Mr. happens Goswick. when we do this. I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Recovering. Okay. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. 
Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother... bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. God, this poor she kid. tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Ugh. Okay. How pa so painful. Um. Okay. I have to go now, sir. I'm alright. Can I say anything else to her? Time with me. Good evening, Don. No. Okay. Goodbye, Mrs. Gosworth. So maybe we can talk to um, maybe we can talk to him more once we've rested. Can we say anything new to you? Good evening. Good evening. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me, and now I may lose everything because I've been careless. Oh, we got to talk to Pippa. Myself. Yeah. What an asshole. Cool, cool. Hmm. Man, this guy's situation is so unfortunate. All right. Goodbye. We're all for done now. with him for now. Ah, there's our buddy. Wait. No, it's not our buddy. Who is... Who's the guy we're supposed to be talking to? Strickland? I thought... Why isn't he marked? Good evening, Dr. Strickland. Maybe and that's the bug. You, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I think that was... The bug is that he wasn't being marked properly. I located the shop, but it was vandalized. And the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate, they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium. Sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. It's dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not, not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Hmm. I want to know about these secret tests you run and if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Go get him, tiger! You have my support, Dr. Strickland. Go get him! I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. All right, man. We're, we're gonna do what we can for you, buddy. What do you think of Dr. Aykroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? What it's do you truly desire? Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Aykroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy? Dr. Aykroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Hmm. Ooh. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. 
Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Cool. So we have to actually build this thing. That's pretty badass. Um, where is Pippa? I want to talk to Pippa. Hey, thanks for that, Adam. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very much. Pippa? Where's Pippa? She was like right here. There she is. Pippa? P Pippa? Girl, what? Oh, you're, she's outside. Maybe? Where is she in here? She's in here. Okay. This first. It's locked. Ah, balls. All right, Pippa, let's talk. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. So, about those people you ripped off and made pay for a bed. What? Oh, I can't actually talk to her about it? Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, man. Sad Goodbye, face. But I guess she I guess what that did do though is it gave her full um she now has full quality. So that that must have been the big thing that did. I was hoping to chat with her about it. Get me some of that money. But um yeah, it looks like that's not an issue or option. Okay. So let's go ahead and I think we may do the old morgue. Hopefully we'll find the parts of that. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Tomorrow! <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I'm going to get out of here for now because I'm going to go get some lunch. And then I'll be back here uh, for an afternoon of beer and POE. It's going to be it's gonna be super chill. Uh, if you enjoyed Vampire today, all this will be on YouTube. And tomorrow morning, starting at 8 a.m. EDT, we will continue our POE adventure. Nope, nope vampire adventure tomorrow morning at 8 a.m and we'll put in a nice another four hour block and see how far we can go with it so it should be fun beer of exile yes boe i like that that sounds good uh real quick before i go i want to remind you fine folks uh about the deal going on today for my sponsor gog um if you go to co.tv slash gog really that just gives you a referral code but that'll get you to the sale just go here and click on this at the top what's really cool about the sale before i go is this is gog's version of the steam summer sale essentially so if you go to this site you can just get this 25 dollars game for free so you can just download that free game you just get it enjoy it's called xenonauts and it looks pretty cool so go get your free game and then once you get the free game there's a lot of really good deals like 75 percent off up to like 80 percent off and then as you buy good deals you get more free games so if you spend five dollars you get sunless sea if you spend twenty dollars, you get Rhyme. So there's all there's good deals. There's games that are just completely free. There's more games you get if you buy deals. It's all sorts of good stuff, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Which is the reason I'm telling you. And then again, you don't have to. You can just go to GOG.com for this. But if you want to help support the channel, if you make your GOG account or just go to co.tv/gog this page, then you're also supporting the channel when you get stuff. So a big thanks to those that do that. But again, this is totally optional. Uh, all the main stuff is at geo. I can't even do that right. GOG.com. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Um, on that note, I am out of here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. It has been a lot of fun playing this actually. And I'm really looking forward to it tomorrow. If I had more time this afternoon, I would probably play more Vampire, but I'm not too sure how much time I'm going to have. So we'll stick with POE in the afternoon. Um, but yeah, that's really it for now. So I am out of here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and read off some of the phenomenal support today. Uh, Imposter Grim says, every time I'm on the stream, Co's talking about GOG. Well, A, GOG is awesome. And B, you clearly don't watch the stream a lot because I don't talk about it too often. So there you go. Uh, anyway, quick summation, by the way, for some people, because I'm seeing some folks asking this in chat. Yes, I did like Vampire. Uh, it is fun. Yeah, it was it was a good time. So uh, that's why we're playing it tomorrow morning. It, it definitely was enjoyable, for sure, for sure. Uh, okay. So, real quick, let me go ahead and quit out of this, and then we are going to read off some of the phenomenal support. I want to thank you guys again for all of your patience today. Uh, a lot of very patient folks helping support the channel, and uh, thank you for it. So, 
Let's do it. Dat Bastard, Armin Kane, Spiffy Bald Guy, Keyblade, Ramming Rhino, and Avenger. Thank you for your subs. Avenger celebrating his four years today. Thank you for that, man. We also have Slick Reactions, Musa Boy, Wonder Wolf, and Spawn Wee, RU007. Give me nerves, Twaticator, Onika, Reaver, Zeus, Rex Pack, and Tyrandor with the cheer. Thank you for that. Karazzi, thank you again for that tip and the tip. It's a double tip. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. We also have Chelebek with the five months, me, AMD94, the only mad gamer dude. Thank you for that, and best of vibes to you, my friend. Hope everything goes well for you. Cardiac with the four months. Black Button with a $20 tip. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you, thank you, and big ups to Germany as well. DC Blast with the three months. Dougie Wuggy with a $10 tip. Oh, have a great day, my friend. We also have Alex getting us up from Modric. Club Salty, Reapers, Creeper, Hash, Archfoe, Rue, Frabid, NJ Cat with a seven month double sub. Addict Scale with a 28. Jack Frost with a five. Master Artorius with the 11 months. Thank you for that, dude. Marcel Weeby Spazin, Lord Borean, Toshiro, Nicholas to Chris, Jad Fang Noxious with the two years today. Thank you for that, man. We also have Hito27, Dr. Dare, Carnival Monstrous, Icy Wayne's Dark Hollow giving us up from Daniel Lannister, Great Mechri, Joku getting us up from Joku. Thank you. Dardnos, Great Beard Beardsmith, Tron Skis with the 30 months, Dry Stick with the one year. Thank you for that one decade. Nildrick with the three months. Hello, Ben. Welcome back to the sub club. We also have James for star. Kodasama giving us up from Patient Force. Dreestrick giving us up to Guitar Disciple. P-Town, Amp Space, and Jake Hunter. Actually, P-Town with the new Prime sub. Thank you for that. Really appreciate that, Dreestrick. Thank you, man. Uh, P-Town with the new Prime sub. Anima Green with the $10 tip, dude. Wow. Thanks for that. Stolen Panda. Munch Mokichi with the 700 cheer. Awesome. Thank you for that. DJ Goat Guy, Certified Jameis, Coolio, Grim Gem, Munch, Munch, LFC, Cop King, Marvelous with the 16 months. Freak Hollow with the new sub. Fog Battleship, Nisao with the 34 months. Thanks for that, buddy. Uh, we also have Lady Manga coming back to the sub club. Asgroth, Hasiki, Elite Guard with a thousand cheer. Thank you for that. Gift of Life, Kilitsia, Shovel Holler with the 13 month double sub. Andrew with the new sub. Bear Last Zombie Wolf with the 11 Grief Star. The Dagda with a $10 tip. Thank you, man. Appreciate that message. And uh, then we have Piggy69. Talked about it a little, little bit earlier. Thank you for that, Piggy. Uh, we also have Justinius with a three-month double sub. Nipkis with a 34-month. Valerian with a four-month. She blinded me with violence. Thanks again for tipping the community in the mods. Val's giving me a $10 tip. Thank you for that, buddy. Oh, wait, no. That's to red, too. Thank you, man. Awesome. We also have Two-Ton Yoda, Borobro, Bing Moski with a 25-month double sub. Nitro with a 35-month. Kicking Radical. Smack Bacon with a 49 months. Good to see you, Smack. Welcome, welcome. Life's a Beach with a 40. Hypnotic Chippo with a new sub. DJ Stratch and Sniff with a new sub. Love the name. Don Ding Dong. You boss. Thanks, buddy. Colossal Gyro with the new sub. Mistrust Vision T. Sir Lance Opportunity here. Adam with the 1000. My surgery went great. It's been a pleasure watching you every day and interacting with this fantastic community while I've been on the men. Keep being amazing to chat. Adam, good vibes to you, sir. Glad your surgery went well, man. Thanks for checking in. Good to hear. Thank you for that cheer. McFly with the new sub and Q is not God with the subs as well. Thank you all for your support and good show, show to you, you friends. friends. Hope you guys have an awesome day. If I don't see you for POE this afternoon, I hope to see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for more Vampire. Have an awesome morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are around the globe. And as always, thanks for spending some of your life here. See you guys around 2 o'clock or earlier. Bye-bye. <laughs>